Imagine Delaware's abandoned, blighted, or underused commercial or industrial sites transformed into vibrant new spaces. Picture waterways once polluted, now popular spots for families to reel in fish or to go for a swim. What if more communities had access to clean, safe drinking water? Envision a cleaner, healthier Delaware. It's happening. It's possible because of the watershed approach to toxics assessment and restoration, better known as WATAR, a program of the Delaware Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Control. WATAR brings together experts from within and outside the department to solve long-standing problems in innovative ways. Contamination in Delaware's waterways is really nothing new. Uh, soil, groundwater, surface water, and sediment impacts uh, are common based upon our industrial past. And although progress has been made, there's still a lot of work to be done. We can't just take everything that's been left behind, scoop it up, and move it somewhere else. That would just move the problem. That's not what we want to do. Denrex's WATAR program combines teamwork and the latest science and innovative technologies with existing regulations and policy to return Delaware's waters to fishable, swimmable, and drinkable status in the shortest time and most cost-effective way possible. The WATAR team regularly collects samples throughout watersheds, sediment, water, and fish that live in our waterways. Once we have that information, it really helps us to determine where the sources of contamination have come from, and we work heavily on cleaning those sources up. Once the land-based sources are taken care of, then we really turn our attention back to our waterways where a lot of the historic pollution still remains. WATAR brings together several DENREC programs to determine where contamination is present, what type of contamination it is, and what impact that contamination has. The DENREC Division of Waste and Hazardous Substances can compel cleanup of these properties either through incentivized, voluntary, or enforcement programs. DENREC's Division of Watershed Stewardship monitors the condition of stream quality as well as fish quality across the state with an aim on making improvements. Denrex WATAR team brings together the best of the Division of Waste and Hazardous Substances along with the Division of Watershed Stewardship to meet our goals more efficiently. Innovation is key. The sediment in Mirror Lake, A Street Ditch, and Little Mill Creek was contaminated by polychlorinated biphenyls, or PCBs, mercury, and more. The WATAR team and its partners were the first in the nation to employ engineered carbon pellets to bind toxic pollutants and remove them from the food chain. The Mirror Lake project in Dover was so successful that we decided to use an enhanced version of the same technology on another test site in Wilmington near the A Street Ditch. Now one component of all of these projects is monitoring after the fact. We use that monitoring data to show progress, number one, but to also learn and improve for the next time we use the technology. On the Brandywine River in Wilmington, WATAR provided clarity through a unique investigation and analysis that took a look at potential for toxic pollutants to impact drinking water or the aquatic environment, either through a dam removal, failure, or modification process. WATAR has conducted many investigations to ensure that our partners' projects do not have a detrimental effect on Delaware's natural resources. The DENREC WATAR program is using science and teamwork to meet its goals controlling releases to our waterways from land-based sources, creating and using innovative and cost-effective strategies to reduce long-term impacts from contamination in sediment and surface water, and returning Delaware's waters to fishable, swimmable, and drinkable status in the shortest time possible. <music>